What's up everybody? I'm Sydney Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, CG Project Red, the Game Awards biggest announcements and the biggest reveals on Disney's Investor Day 2020. Oh, roll the thing, almost forgot. It wouldn't be what I've dubbed Cyber Week if we didn't close things out by talking Cyberpunk 2077. But this time, we're talking about developer CD Projekt Red who's seen its stock price fall in the days around the game's launch. We're talking 29%. As reported by GamesIndustry.biz, shares are currently priced at 313.9 Polish Zawate, down from 443 Polish Zawate on December 4th. The decline is likely due to the release and press coverage, which reveals Cyberpunk 2077 suffers from a lot of bugs and glitches. Not to mention it has notably poor performance on previous gen consoles. From the looks of it, share prices appear to have dropped since the embargo on reviews was lifted. And then once the game did release, shares on December 10th slipped from 390.6 Polish Zawate to 362 Polish Zawate. Stocks might have declined, but CD Projekt Red has still generated a huge amount of sales for Cyberpunk 2077. It sold 8 million copies before it even released and had over 1 million concurrent users on day one, which is now Steam's highest peak for a single player game. So uh, a consolation prize, if you will. Last night, one of the biggest gaming events of the year happened, the Game Awards. I might be a tad biased considering I hosted the pre-show, but that does not take away from the fact that Jeff Keighley and a bunch of other extremely talented folks awarded games, developers, and industry professionals for their accomplishments this year. And of course, we got some killer reveals. We don't have time to go through them all, so here's some of my favorites. Nintendo revealed another fighter coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and it's none other than Final Fantasy VII's Sephiroth, which is coming sometime this month and made me want to finally finish Final Fantasy VII Remake. We also found out what Xbox's new first party studio, The Initiative, is working on, which is a new Perfect Dark game. There is no public record of me calling it, but I would just like to say I privately told Nick Lamone I thought it'd be a new Perfect Dark game, so that has to count for something. The creators of Left 4 Dead revealed Back for Blood, a first person zombie shooter with co op coming June 2021. Among Us got a new map and possibly just as exciting, variable starting points. And finally, Master Chief is coming to Fortnite a la skin. And you can play Capture the Flag on a recreated version of Halo's iconic Blood Gulch map. That's just a tiny bit of highlights from last night's The Game Awards. If you want the full lowdown, we've got you covered over at IGN.com. Oh, you thought that was a lot of news that dropped last night. Ha! Huh. Disney held their 2020 Investor Day and they did not hold back. The company revealed a bunch of new projects for Disney Plus and theaters, spanning across Marvel, Star Wars, Disney Animation, Pixar, and more. But we don't have time to go through them all, so here's some of my favorites. Ewan McGregor, chef's kiss, coming back as Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Disney Plus series still sends me. And yesterday, Disney revealed that Hayden Christensen will also be returning as Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader. The series will take place 10 years after Star Wars Episode 3, will be directed by Deborah Chow, and it's set to begin production March 2021. It's billed to be the, quote, rematch of the century. Also on the Star Wars front, The Mandalorian will have at least two spin-offs, Star Wars Ahsoka and Star Wars Rangers of the New Republic. Wonder Woman's Patty Jenkins will direct Star Wars Rogue Squadron, the next Star Wars theatrical film. On the MCU side of things, there will be a series of animated specials called Baby Groot. Secret Invasion, featuring Nick Fury and Talos, was announced as one of many MCU series and specials coming to Disney+. Plus. There's yet another Fantastic Four movie, and Christian Bale is confirmed to play Gore, the God Butcher, in Thor Love and Thunder. Oh, also, Indiana Jones 5 is in pre-production, and there's an extremely cute Pixar film called Turning Red about a teenager named May who transforms into a giant red panda whenever she gets too excited. That's coming March 11th, 2022. Again, this is only a snippet of what was announced yesterday, so make sure to check out IGN.com for our full breakdown of all the announcements. And that's Daily Fix. I'm Cindy Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Have a wonderful weekend. Now that you are all caught up on the news, if you want to dive into more of the announcements from Disney's Investor Day, check out our video chronicling everything Marvel they announced. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, IGN.com.